Welcome back for another activity. Or listen, depends on what you call this. But draw and add details to your computer art if you have a computer. You don't if you don't have to, you don't have to do this activity. Or you could do something similar, even on a paper too. But but you can use when if you can if you have a computer and you could do this or a phone if you have a thing of course if you have a tablet they have drawing things but you don't have this is an optional project here you could use textpaint.com uh, ms paint ms paint apple joy doodle apple Kindle free, Kindle do free. There's so many different types of computer art drawing apps. So let's get started. So you have to find whatever you're going to draw with. So I'm going to draw the drawing, the paint app on. Computer here, of course. It's teeny tiny. How is that going to be like that? No, so I'm going to get bigger so you can see my kind of paper. And of course, this time is to kind of practice in using these materials here. some of these tools here hit overlap I'm going to here because even you can have there's drawing things even if you actually do have um, what in a, what's known as Photoshop you actually could draw on there it's not Mostly just photographs, but you actually could draw things on there as well. <clears throat> but this one is a very simple thing, and, and if you have a computer, especially if you have a Windows computer, this is on there. This is actually the first drawing thing that when I was a kid, I used. And of course, just like, you know... When you were in kindergarten, if you were with me, I do a lot of things called, you know, screwable art, and this is kind of, this is kind of like that. So you could just get one of those little things and scribble your picture over here. And of course, then you could use the filler thing. Then where I said this thing is up to you. You could be very abstract on do, or if you want to be more technical, you could try to draw. With today's, with a lot of touch screens, especially with the tablets, you could use your thing. You could use a stylus or your finger, and you could actually draw from there. Of course, I'm just filling these up. You could you could use all cool colors, which are greens, blues, purples. Or you could do warm colors, which are yellows, reds, and oranges. Or you could do, of course, the primary colors, which are red, blue. And yellow, and secondary, or you could just use the secondary colors, purple, orange, and green, or you use a combination of these colors. You know, the binary, the intermediate colors, or the neutral colors. Which this brown what I'm doing is kind of a neutral brown. There's and basically what neutral does is in the design thing is that it kind of goes with all colors, and that's why it's. Why it's the term neutral.
tulip comes around. So there's new to grays. Neutral blues, believe it or not, but most neutrals are actually browns and grays. Because you never. perfect but I try and get to get show the whole thing it's just my camera can't really get it any closer than where it is right now how my camera is set up but I'm just filling in where there is what's left of abstract picture here my scribble art oops that happens one thing about mistakes like I did that is an opportunity so sometimes you should not always just draw on mistakes because they also could be an opportunity I think I got every color here it's this one little spot there Actually, sometimes that actually looks better than, and so, sometimes, oh, that didn't work out, but then, oh, it truly works out. There it goes. There's like these little teeny tiny ones here. I'm trying to fill in all the spaces here. Because one thing is I'm trying to fill up all the spaces. I'm trying to leave no white in my picture other than the background. But I'm thinking I'm going to change the color of the background as well. And of course, most of these computers have this little screen here. And I said, you just practice on what these things are. And you practice all the tools that you have here. I'm thinking I'm going to do this dark green. Alrighty, okay. The background is dark green. Woo, that just popped it out. And sometimes when you do a big color, that pops that color out. A different color. It's contrast. And that's what all this thing. So this is contrasting with this. And so that makes this pop out. And that's why when I'm trying to want to... So when we're doing things, you want to make sure there's this contrast. of things. If you want something to pop out, you have to have something that is contrasted to that object. brushes here. Ooh, on that one, see. And then, I could say, sign my work. Go get to intelligent green. Doesn't work. Ooh, that's big. Let's see if this one works. I think I'm going to change the size of that. This is getting really big. Oh, that's better. See. So, I said, if you really get practice on this, you could start practice on this thing. You get this thing. You could be more precise, and you could practice. And this is all about all this is practice. Art is just like any sport. 
you have to practice to get better. And of course, if you start, you know, if you have this ability to draw on your computer, if you keep practicing, you'll get a lot better at it. And no offense, I'm not used to draw, uh, writing on the computer with my mouse here. So it doesn't look that perfect, but actually it adds to the whole picture. So, have fun. For a recap, you can use any computer device you may have that has a drawing app. But if you don't have a computer, you cannot use a paper or a photograph and draw on it and do the same thing. Hope you had fun doing this project, and I see you next time. Bye.